Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Ceres today, covering her new change she actually had on the PTS since the last time I covered her, which was back in July. Also talking about her new skin, and also my slightly revised loadouts for her. Obviously, it hasn't been that long since I covered her, but there are two pretty big reasons as to why I wanted to do it today. Number one, being Mortal Reach has been buffed from 10% bonus from the time between healing ticks and stuff up to 17%. This was actually one of the few things they changed mid-PTS, but what they also changed was the cost of Cauterize. It went down from 3 300 to 250 which i guess kind of evens it out i'd actually say maybe Ceres is in a worse spot because of the quarterized change even though this was buffed but also aside from that i want to do some more siege you guys seem to be enjoying me covering siege a little bit more and it was top coming on yesterday's video so i feel like i should do it a little bit more often because i have been playing a lot of tdm and onslaught and i actually prefer to do Ceres on siege so it's kind of perfect i will be doing a video tomorrow which will probably be tdm and onslaught but it will be one you definitely don't want to miss but of course today we're going to be covering something that i have done before though it has had obviously slight changes so we can take it a little bit easier i'm not going to spend too long here in the intro explaining stuff because these alerts are very similar to the video i released in july we've got this one which is the ultimate gen which is wrong because it doesn't do that anymore <laughs> this one isn't ultimate gen it used to be sorceress it is now soul forge which is four percent up to six percent in this update so at level four we get 24 percent extra range from where our heal actually spreads which is surprisingly decent we also have a bunch of extra movement speed whenever we have a soul orb on somebody tiny bit of reset on the f tiny bit of a heal on the right click and also veil then we have this other one which doesn't have soul forge in there but instead has a ton of extra self heal and also a tiny bit of ammo gen and a little bit more reset and then the third one which is kind of damage series which i don't think i'll be doing today because we're playing on siege where you have your queue up a little bit more often and you also gen ammo a little bit differently i have actually played this a little bit already so it's not going to be like a strictly first impression type of thing i do have a tiny bit of experience with it like one or two games but it didn't feel too much different the 17 percent i guess felt a little bit better but the fact that quarter is cheaper it ends up kind of feeling the same at least to me we'll go ahead and pick this version of the skin i can't remember which one i used in the original video but we've got siege jaguar falls as the map shout out to zokas that is the anara we've also got i guess a Tyra and seemingly an IO. Double support here would work kind of well, I guess, because we've got an Aura. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the video on the PTS, but this skin does have a pretty heavy gameplay disadvantage. The orbs, for whatever reason, feel really, really weird, and it is just a little bit flashier than usual, so it is a little bit easier to see, obviously, that you're fighting a Ceres if you're on the enemy team. But the orbs specifically felt really weird because the animation, for some reason, starts like a little bit later. I'm not really sure how to explain it. I'm sure if you play with it, you know what I'm talking about. We've got a Genos and a Shaolin as the last two picks, and we're up against a Genos, a Tiberius, a Bucket Corvus, and a Nando. So, weirdly similar teams here except for the fact that we don't have a flank it's pretty much the same I reckon for the sake of the video we'll go for the one that has soul forge in it i think it actually might be the best one in the situation anyway because of the team we've got and the team we're up against so shouldn't be too bad we'll go ahead and i guess grab chronos do i want chronos i actually don't know I guess this way we can get a ref up a little bit more often and also have a little bit more speed we've got luminary we've got sand trap we've got bird monster and then mother's grace and for their side spreading influence scorch bulk up luminary and predatory instincts so a very standard talent selection which is going to stand here at the back and heal people see if we can keep the tyra alive nice we'll throw out some orbs in the meantime chuck another right click onto the Ceres you can definitely tell that it ticks a lot faster you could tell with 10% I feel like but with 17 it makes it even more obvious I'm just going to go into the F because he dealt a freaking ton of damage there another one for the Tyra she's not looking too good the Inara is also getting kind of blasted there's one for her though she is just about still up we've got Genos here for a bit of side healing which is very very nice because when I'm not paying attention he's doing a good job I feel like I'm healing for a ton here although I'm not sure how much Soul Forge is actually making a difference with the spread because of how close this map is there goes the Tyra sadly but like we need to deal with this bug there's Genos with the Grip. I'm just going to get some more shots into him. There is the Q. I thought like we should actually be able to kill him here. There we go. Well done, General. So Nara just holding the point on her own like an absolute trooper. The General's consistent heal is definitely coming through clutch. There is another right click. Guess we can go ahead and throw the ult. Don't know if that was a waste or not. Nara did pull the wall. I was hoping to grab somebody from over there, but that didn't really work. There's a right click for the Genos. There we go. We somehow managed to get objective capture. I'm pretty sure the freaking Nanda was just a little bit off it. There's the Q. There's a right click onto him and also the spread onto the Nara. So I guess it did help a little bit. There's a charge and then the F. So we get the movement speed. We'll get out of that early right click. The two of them. But luckily, it does actually seem like they've fixed the complaint I had with the orbs. The animation actually seems to line up properly now, which is great because before it was a little bit off. I'm surprised I actually managed to get away there. Sadly, Anara did get cleared. There's a Q. Is that going to keep me up? I thought he was going to detonate his thing, but he's going for predatory instinct, so I guess we're fine. Tara's getting kind of battered. There's a right click. We also got some orbs on the Nando. He's gone. Well done, Charlin. He did just get gripped and battered a little bit. The Tiberius is just spamming his thing everywhere. It's hitting, just bouncing like mad. Genos went for the ult, picked up a double. Nice. He got rid of both the supports. This is a pretty good chance to push up, I suppose. Right click for the Charlin. He's very pushed up, but we just put him back up to full nice right click for the anara i'm definitely noticing soul forge but i think i'd notice it more if we were on a bit more of an open map this probably isn't a great place to show it off because usually it spreads pretty far but i feel like with this one we're just picking up on it a little bit more maybe buck, buck is pushing up for the flank we'll just focus on damage for a little bit there we go right click on to the tyra this tiberius is going in on me i don't know where the hell he just went we'll pop into the air we'll cancel it early get a right click on to the two of them i feel like i should throw the ult see if we can get somebody okay well we got the genos i guess that wasn't a complete waste right click for the anara and the charlotte i keep wanting to call it tyra because we've also got her on the team right click for 
for him. More heals for her. She's going to sit kind of far back. We also got a passive one on the generals. Right click for the Charlene. I'm hoping I can get the Tyrant in the like extra range, but it's not really working. Benari is holding it like an absolute champ. She used the ult. She got a massive stun. We also got a massive heal there, and that is the push successful. Huge group heal. And freaking what a way to end the round. There we go. 2 0. Nice one. A 10 streak. I haven't actually died yet. I feel like my commentary is going even faster than usual today. I should chill it out a little bit. I feel like a big reason as to why I'm more comfortable today on my commentary than I usually am. Rip generals is just because I'm comfortable with Ceres on Siege, and I feel like the team we've got is definitely helping that out. There's a right click on to her again. I need to just kind of peek and throw the heal and then dip again because that Tiberius is paying a lot of attention. There's a right click for these two. We've got a little bit of self heal, but it's not really enough to keep me at full, so we'd have to get a combat every now and again. Seems like Nando is chasing. Okay, there's a Q for him. Nice. We'll hit him with one more and then go into the F and just avoid the situation. We'll just dip back here. I'm not really sure what he's doing. I guess he was trying to get rid of the Genos too. He's just in our back line. I don't think this is really helping the team, but this is kind of annoying me in the Genos though. He's gone. Not really sure what the hell that play was because Arenara did get cleared, but that was kind of it. There's a Q for the Tiberius. They definitely did fix the thing with the orbs though because I was noticing a ton on the PTS. I'm sure if you go back and watch that video, you'll see what I mean, but they fixed it now. I don't know if I'm just imagining it or maybe it's just the color you choose, but in this one, I'm definitely not picking up on the orbs being weird. They're just acting like normal. Could have also been the weird service stuff we were having before because on live right now, the server's actually pretty good. So props to Evo Mojo for actually making the servers not crappy. More heals on to the Inara. Back was kind of on left. I feel like we're just going to be really, really hard to get rid of until they max out their quarter S because right now our team is just staying up for ages. More hits on to the buck. He is not gone. There's a Q that should finish him off. Nice janky ass play, but it worked. Nando and Corvus just here on the right. They're back up to four. They were really low for a little minute. Right click for the Inara and the Genos. I feel like this is a pretty good spot for me to stay. We're also getting a nice bit of spread on the right click. Pop the F to avoid the buck. A tad RIP Genos as a heal for the tire. I guess I can go ahead and throw the ult, see if we can get something with this. That didn't pull anybody other than the buck, but I guess he's gone. I thought that would pull the Nando because of where his shield was, but I guess not. Throwing out my heals as best as I can. Max Nibble's coming through pretty clutch because I'm able to do that peak really, really quickly. Corvus went for the ult. He flew up really high. He's just throwing it right there on the objective. We have a minute left. That's not really going to do very much. Right click for her again and also the tire. I reckon I'm going to have a pretty good stat in this one. Right click for her. She's still up. Nando really pushed up there for that one, but luckily she is still alive. He's going for the ult. She's playing a little bit too aggressively, but she's on a freaking 13 streak, so I guess she's still doing good. Another right click for the Inara. I don't know why I'm peeking over here. I really should play it a little bit safer. And there's another one. She's back up to full. Her increased healing is mad. Buck is pushing up there. Is a Q. Well done, Genos, with the grip. I'm actually playing pretty well today. Shout out to the team, though. These guys are making it really easy. There's more stacks. There's a heal on two. The Genos. He's not going to do anything here because he doesn't have any quarter eyes. Right click for the Tyra. There's a Q. He is out. And Ara's been pushing the point the entire time. Props to her for that one. She's going for the ult. Same play that we had at the end of the last round. I'm pretty sure that's probably going to secure the 4 0 here. I can't imagine them holding this. We'll throw an ult just to, I guess, put salt in the wound. There's a Q. He's gone. And there is the victory. That is one of the smoothest matches of Siege I think I've ever had. We didn't have a single death. And now I think I understand a little bit more why you guys like the CC on the channel. That match was great. I really enjoyed that one. I feel like I was in for a good day anyway, but when you start your first match off like that, I feel like that just kind of solidifies it. We had 100k heals, 34k damage, not a single death, which is actually pretty good considering everybody else in that game had three or more. We managed to avoid all of them. We also managed to have a 21 streak, which is the highest in the game. Shouts once again to Zocas. That was the Inara. We'll go through the rest of them pretty quick, top to bottom. The Tyra did really well. The Inara shredded. Genos did a great job, and so did Charlene. Super solid team there on pretty much every way you could look at it. Shouts to the these guys for making my life easy for their side. Jones did pretty good. Buck did all right, although apparently he was having a bit of a hard time with the Charlene Cripple, which does make a lot of sense. I didn't even think about that, to be honest, until I read it just there. Their Corvus also did pretty good. So did the Nando and then the Tiberius actually shredded on damage there. He's like 40k above everybody because he was just spamming his little things everywhere with predatory instincts. It did work out for him quite well, although I feel like they weren't really killing us that often. They were getting a lot of damage on us and people were low all the time, but they didn't really have anybody going in to finish people. I reckon I'd put most of that down to the way we were actually placing ourselves on the map, which worked out really well because my right was spreading a ton. The Inara was also tanking a ton of damage and then getting the increased healing, which means we could heal her up really quickly. Just worked out great overall. Super solid game. But yeah, we'll go ahead and jump into another siege. Like I said, I know you guys want to see more of it, so I'll try my best to do more siege. The only situations where I don't think I want to do siege are the ones where I'm doing silly loadouts that can kind of ruin games a little bit. Even though it is casual, I feel like I should stick to TDM and Onslaught for those, obviously. But when we're doing something like this, which is a lot more standard, I'm more than happy to do it in a siege to try and keep the game mode somewhat balanced because I was definitely doing too much of TDM and Onslaught. For this one, we've got Siege Frog Isle, we've got a Strix, we've got a Cassie, we've got an Nara and an Eevee there. I do recognize a few of those names. I went ahead and popped a booster so we can switch up the skin because I actually don't have this one unlocked yet in the Battle Pass. And then for the enemy team, we're up against an Eevee, a Damber, a Leon, a BK, and an Atlas. So Atlas will kind of screw us over a little bit. Anara should have CC immunity though, which does also counter him. So again, we've got pretty similar teams. Go ahead and grab Mortal Reach and the same setup. I think it will work a little bit better on this map. We'll go ahead and start off with Kronos and Nimble again. Kronos doesn't really help the right click at all, but it does help our F and our Q a little bit. We've got Nocturnal, Wormhole, Impulse, Mother's Grace. So she's gone for the right talent here. We're up against Wormhole, Spirits Chosen, Eminence, Bizarro Subjects, and
stuck on a solid frame. I threw my right click up, it started the animation, and then it crashed. Am I really going to crash, like, right now, start a game two? This is going to kind of ruin this first round. I guess I have. Fuck. All right, well, I loaded back in. I guess we lost the first round. I can't really say I'm surprised. It was a 4v5 after all. There's some orbs for them. I got nine of them. Right click for the Cassie. Maybe we can pull it back, but usually when games start off badly, it's kind of hard to do. I guess we can still give it an effort, though. Another right click for the Anara. Get her up as high as we can. Cassie rolling into the middle is kind of worrying. Maybe the passive heal will be enough to get her. He just rewound the Anara, but she's still on full. Right click for the Strix to try and keep him up. Oh my god, she still got rid of him. Right click for her. My game nearly crashed again there. What is going on? Why is Paladins being so janky today? I guess we'll go ahead and throw the ult because, of course, one time the servers are actually fine. My game is just not. Let's go into the F. I'm a little bit too slow. Made a janky play. Whatever. Smashes all over the place. <laughs> Seems like we've stabilized it a little bit now that I'm back. We're having a bit of an easier time staying up. Right click for these two. Anara is looking really low as well, but I needed to heal the freaking squishes off that have probably been cleared. Right click for the Strix as a rewind. I guess all my effort just got kind of cancelled out. And sadly, there is the defense fail. 0 2. Maybe we'll be able to recover this. It's not looking too good. They obviously have a bit of an advantage because I wasn't here at the start. I've had that happen before. I don't know why it happens. It's completely random. It started as I was throwing out my right click and it just insta crashed when I activated that ability. Honestly, I have no idea why it crashes, but this skin with the mount combo is looking pretty damn good. The actual tones of blue look really sick together there. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, this skin actually matches the mount really nicely. Obviously, the barrack skin on the spray over there is just a complete another level. Why hasn't Barrack got a Leanne skin, by the way? They probably don't want to do it to like confuse players, but they've got a spray. I feel like it looked pretty good as a skin. I'm just gonna just gonna sit kind of far back to heal to the team. The servers definitely still aren't perfect. They're better, but they're not perfect because sometimes you can't actually do the jump thing still. Sometimes it will cancel out your jump when you do like a little fakey one for some reason, but the servers do seem to be a little bit more consistent, which is nice. Heal to the EV. The Strix is also when he goes invisible for some reason is actually invisible. Like you can't see his outline or anything half the time. I don't know why it happens. Sometimes you can see it, but other times he'll just be actually invisible. It does seem like luckily we've been able to pull it back at least a little bit because we're able to get the cap. Obviously, recovery mechanic makes it a little bit easier, but one, two, we're already halfway through the push. It's looking pretty good. There's another right click on two. The Anara. Eevee's probably the person causing the most trouble right now. She's using her abilities really well, but I am trying my best to heal them. They don't have like a crazy amount of quarter rest just yet, so we're doing pretty good. Anara's not looking too good. There's a heal for the two of them. We'll hit her with another right click. She's in that CC immunity, so she's looking all right. There's a couple orbs for him. There's a heal onto the Eevee. That's not what I was trying to do. Went into the F, managed to avoid the Eevee, but I'm really not looking too good. Tried to heal the Anara, but I was a little bit too late. Seems like we're doing a pretty decent job of giving it another effort there. Eevee's definitely causing the most trouble, but luckily our Eevee's doing pretty damn good. There's another right click for the Anara. I'm going to go ahead and throw the all. That's probably a waste. Maybe we'll be able to pull somebody. Nope, I butchered it, but who cares? We got the push successful. Well done. I was I was trying to get it on like the ledge to pull through people, then I decided I didn't want to do that, threw it below the ledge, and it didn't get anybody. That was a waste of my ultimate, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's a casual siege. We'll finish off our Kronos. I am the only person who used the ult, which definitely makes me look a little bit silly there. 2%, everybody else is on 100. But anyway, it's going to round three. There's some orbs for the Atlas straight off the bat. We'll go ahead and pop the Q that actually killed him. What a disgusting way to start off the round. Jesus Christ, I feel dirty for that. Definitely got kind of lucky with predicting my orbs. The Eevee just cancelled out the Leon ultimate. Well, goddamn done. Strix is pushing up very aggressively. Eevee is blinking around and stuff, but we're doing fine. Sadly, our Eevee did get bursted down. He's hitting me with the rewind, but I'm still on full health. He is gone. There's a right click. There's the F37 health. My right click actually saved me with the self heal. Right click there for the Cassie. I can't believe I actually lived there. My self heal genuinely saved my ass. There's the objective captured. And I went for the ult. Sadly, didn't get anybody, but that's fine. I literally just had that experience at the end of the last round. More heals onto it, though. Definitely think if I was gone for another round, we'd have lost it. But now that I'm actually out putting heals, the team's doing a pretty good job. It's an Eevee v Eevee fight. Can I get a heal to it to make sure she's fine? Definitely liking Soul Forge, though. It's making healing the entire team a lot easier. And also the extra 17 percent is pretty damn noticeable. I'd highly recommend you give this a go if you tried it on the BTS because it does feel, you know, at least a little bit different. Eevee went in for a flank. We managed to get rid of her. Heal for those two guys. Right click for the Anara. I don't know who she's really firing at. I think she thought Eevee was still up. More heals on to her. Hello, BK. Strix threw out a blind, so I guess you're gone. Heal on to her again. They are absolutely battering that Anara. Group heal once again. Soulforge coming in. Mad kind of clutch. Just trying to get as many group heals here as I can. I got feared by the Dambrot, but I reckon we're all right. There's another pretty big one. That is the Cassie going for the ult. That's Eevee going for the ult as well. BK's going in for the ult. That's not going to do anything. I'm pretty sure it's going to settle the 4 2. Well done, team, for the recovery. There is the victory. Well deserved win because we came together really well once I was back after that first round, and I think we do deserve it. Great match. But yeah, like I said, even though we did have a bit of a messy start, I think we did put it together quite well towards the end. I think we would have beaten out the Dambrin Heels if I was there for the entire first round, but 107k, I will not complain. For the rest of the stats, the Eevee did a really good job. The Inara did pretty damn decent. The Cassie did pretty good, and so did the Strix. This man shredded 20 to 711k. Props to him. Flipping he's way ahead of everybody else there. For their side, Eevee did pretty good. I'd have actually expected her to have a better stat considering how well she was playing there in that game, but definitely not a bad one. Their damage did really good. Their Leon did decent, but definitely could have done a little bit better. Same thing with the BK, and then the Atlas actually did a good job. Overall, solid game. Not as good as game one, but definitely not a bad match by any means. Really glad that we decided to do Siege today because both of them worked out great. But you 100% notice that it does heal fast when
it still heals for a little bit less but it just feels better to play at least for me would also definitely say the setup worked great i also didn't even think about this but fade to black technically got a slight buff with mortal reach getting the duration reduced because that way you're throwing your regular out more and even if you are healing for a little bit less you're technically triggering this card a little bit more often which means if you do rock this card and you rock more reach you're technically getting your f at more often which is something i didn't even think about but the setup worked great soul forge is really useful blood fact obviously everything in this setup works really really well these cards are all super good as for the skin super solid as well they do seem to have fixed the thing with the orbs but i can't remember if that was something to do with the servers or whatever but either way they're fixed now that's really all that matters thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed of course i'll see you guys all very very soon let me know what you want to see me do next and as always stay frosty i feel like i talked really quickly in today's video but i guess i should slow it down next time see you guys soon